Hi there guys, welcome back once again to another DVD haul. Everything is from Amazon UK, uh, although I live in India. But um, yeah, so long overdue, I've uh, had a few, I had a few DVD hauls that were actually pending, but I decided to uh, finally to get this done. It's a little past 4 a.m. Uh, I haven't opened any of them from the uh, shrink wrap, but um, I will show you what I did get in this haul. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 DVDs, uh, one of which is a music uh, or rockumentary basically, of one of my favorite bands. So let's start off without further ado. This is one of my favorite movies of all time in terms of acting. I believe it's a masterclass, uh, especially from the lead actor. And I actually uh, had high hopes that he would actually get the Oscar that year. He didn't, he was nominated, but uh, and I believe he was actually uh, robbed of the Oscar. I'm talking about Mickey Rock in The Wrestler. This is one of my favorite films of all time. I can pop, pop this movie in and watch it um, anytime. So I've seen it, uh, I think, uh, three times on cable and I've seen it twice on a streaming service. Had to get this. Um, in terms of acting uh, ability, Mickey Rock was uh, absolutely superb in this film. It's got tons of rock and roll music, a lot of wrestling. I used to be a big wrestling fan. I stopped watching wrestling in 2007. Uh, and that's incidentally when I believe this movie actually did. I'm sorry, no, this movie came out much later. But yeah, uh, 2007 is when I stopped watching wrestling. This film is absolutely superb. The Wrestler, Mickey Rock. And you've got, uh, uh, by the way, it's directed by Darren Aronofsky. And uh, you have Evan Rachel Wood, who plays his daughter. And you have Marissa Tomei, who plays a uh, middle-aged stripper. Superb acting. All right, next in the pile, unfortunately, I couldn't get the first one, uh, which is my by far the best of the of the two, uh, sorry, of the three in this particular franchise. But this one is pretty good as well. Um, and sometime, someday down the line, I will get the original, the the first one as well. This is Ghostbusters 2, uh, absolutely superb franchise. The third one, uh, not so much. We'll talk about that another day. Ghostbusters 2 is however a pretty, a, pretty, a pretty good sequel. I know a lot of people aren't as happy with it compared to the uh, to the first Ghostbusters, but yeah, I do like this a lot. Starring the rail, uh, the late uh, Harold Ramis with Rick Moranis, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, and Bill Murray. Uh, directed by Ivan Reitman. Mm, yep, all right. So again, haven't taken off the shrink wrap, but that's the front and that's the back. All right, so I'm gonna go, try and go through this as quickly as I can. I am feeling a little tired and sleepy. Like I said, just came back from work. Um, from a recent franchise, which they start off superbly, the first and second movies were really good. The third one was good, uh, but then it fizzled out. Uh, the fourth and the fifth one are actually, in my view, kind of terrible. But the first one is one of my favorite action movies with elements of horror in it. Uh, I'm talking about Underworld with Kate Beckinsale and Scott Speedman. She plays a vampire hunter. Sorry, she plays a vampire who hunts and kills werewolves. Which, uh, they said the back, absolutely superb, sexy Kate Beckinsale. Uh, I'm a big fan of hers. There's a back. This is a two disc set, so as like I said, I haven't opened it up, but um, I will sometime soon. Okay, uh, we've not got a controversial film, uh, and I do understand that there are a lot of flaws in the book, as well as in, uh, which obviously uh, this movie is based on. But uh, as an entertainer, I find it absolutely superb. I've seen it five, six times. Da Vinci Code with uh, probably my favorite actor of all time, Tom Hanks. With, uh, I always forget this actress's name, Audrey Tot <laughs> Audrey Totum, I think that's how you pronounce it. So, uh, The Da Vinci Code, superb book, although there's a lot of flaws, I agree. Uh, but yeah, superb movie as well, The Da Vinci Code. Now we get to an, a classic, a sci-fi classic. Uh, sci-fi, I would say, with a lot of elements of comedy in it. 
it doesn't take itself very seriously but this is a superb film to watch directed by Luc Besson introduced the world the acting world to the talents and beauty of Mila Jovovich uh, I'm talking about The Fifth Element absolutely love this film uh, it is superb I've seen it several times I think maybe uh, 10 times on cable uh, I in fact I remember watching it three times over the pe over the period of a week because they were kept they kept on showing this movie many times um, seen it on streaming services I actually had a uh, uh, I wouldn't call it a pirated uh, DVD it was more like a, um, a VCD version uh, it's a very low quality format but I love love this movie so much <coughs> that you know several years ago I needed a copy of it for myself finally got the uh, better DVD quality of it so this is a two disc special set uh, the fifth element and I paid I think around nine pounds for this up next we've got and I think I already have shown the third film in this franchise uh, in a previous DVD haul and I was waiting for the prices to actually go down and I got them for a for I think uh, the first film in this uh, franchise I got it for about three pounds fifty and the second movie I got for around five pounds uh, this is James Nolan's um, beginning of the Batman trilogy which is Batman Begins there's the back uh, I do like this film quite a bit although I'm not a James Nolan fanboy and yeah I, I don't really like the uh, I mean it, movies are really good but I don't really like the Batman story that much I don't really like Batman that much in this uh, The Dark Knight of course with uh, a really fantastic film like I said I might have my detractions about uh, James Nolan's Batman trilogy at the same time I can't help but say that this is probably one of the best movies of uh, probably of all time and uh, of course it's all due to the Joker played by Heath Ledger the late lead Heath Ledger um, you know tragically lost to us the Dark Knight there's the back uh, a sci-fi classic uh, I would I would call it a classic a sci-fi comedy classic Paul, uh, absolutely love this film with the voice of Seth Rogen uh, for the alien over here and you've got Simon Pegg and uh, Nick Frost with Jason Bateman, uh, Kristen Wiig, Bill Hader and Sigourney Weaver all, also in this film, really, really love this movie. This one is uh, taken off the shrink wrap, it's a two disc edition. Whoa. <laughs> Please watch it. It's a super film. Pure Peg and Frost, very, very funny. That's what they say. And yes, it is. Uh, coming towards the end, the ninth DVD in this collection is the beginning of a new, uh, of kind of like a reboot, different timeline kind of thing for the X-Men. This is X-Men First Class. Absolutely love this movie. Probably the best of the, of the, of the, of the three movies in this, in this series and uh, we've got the fourth one coming up later this year absolutely wonderful movie to watch and there's the back and absolutely beautiful to watch in certain cases all right and uh oh, trying to keep it around the 10 to 12 minute mark but finally the last one in this movie as uh, last one in this dvd hall is not a film it's a documentary it's long strange road the 25 years at the edge of Pearl Jam, one of my favorite bands, probably is my favorite band. I kind of have two favorite bands, one is Pearl Jam and one is the Bare Naked Ladies and I've got Rush coming in at a very close, uh, you know, so I kind of call the three of them my favorite band, so uh, I love this band to death. Uh, never been able to see them live because I live in India. But yeah, the next best thing is to get documentaries or documentaries of them and of course I watch a lot of uh, live clips and their uh, music videos there's the back and that ends this DVD haul uh, just around the 10 minute mark so thank you very much guys like I said everything is from Amazon UK uh, I'll be having more DVD hauls you can see a couple of piles over there I've got a movie sorry I've got a TV series as well coming up so 
one or two actually. So take care guys, I'm going to bed, I'm tired. Thank you and uh, have a good one. Bye.